Hey guys, 412 Sports Guards here today, back with another video. And today is going to be a mail day video where I'm also going to get into some notes on my investment strategy behind the mail day and also going to end it with a question that I'm hoping you guys can help me answer about my collection and investing. Anyways, we got some Luca, LeBron, Tatum, and Mitchell in this order. So um, let's see what we got here. I'm going to move through some of the Luca a little faster because I know. I mean, if you guys have been following the channel, you've seen some of it already, but we'll start it off. We've got this Optic, two rated rookies from 2018 Donner's Optic. I've talked in previous videos about uh, these are going to be sent off for grading. Um, these Revolution Lucas also featured in previous videos, but figured I'd show them here. Once again, these two, I bought three, sold one. These two were um, clean, so these two are probably going to be going off to PSA. And then also, I've got this Courtside Rookie Luca, which is a pretty big pickup. Like, it's a, it's a pretty big dog card, true gem. I mean, this is a nice one. It's a Courtside, so, I mean, these are kind of hard to come by. And these are seeing uh, their market kind of increase uh, right now. Kind of cool. Got Derek Rose in the, in the image there too, which I kind of like about this card. It's pretty nice and I like it a lot. Um, and also got two second year uh, court sides from, of Luca. So these are from 2019. This one's from 2018. Uh, and these were a lot cheaper, but I think they might be undervalued right now. And plus I love like the blue in the background of this card and with the blue jersey that Luca's wearing. I think they just look, they just look stellar. But anyways, some of the strategy here, as you can see, I've got a lot, is that I've been picking up multiple Luca rookie cards by not buying the Prism. So it's giving me some selling flexibility and it's also allowing me to do a couple other things which are kind of learn how to inspect different sets. It's giving me like a look at Optic and Revolution and select and seeing how condition sensitive the sets are so I can evaluate if I want to send um, any of those sets in for grading or if I want to target them for purchasing for grading in the future. And another thing is it's just great as a collector. Like I look, I got to have, I've gotten so many Lucas in and in hand and just looking at all these different sets in person is really fun as opposed to buying just one or two Prism base cards, which is not quite as exciting from a collecting standpoint. Anywho, the second um, player we're gonna talk about here is LeBron. You should have seen these featured in a recent video. Picked up three of these, about five bucks each raw. The thing about these is why I'm buying kind of twofold from an investment aspect. These puppies are going for a hundred and a PSA 10. You can buy them for five dollars raw. They're a little tough to grade. I mean, it's their paper, but like, it's not an impossible job. And I like the upside there. Plus, I'm just a huge LeBron fan. And I think that Revolution from 2018 looks really good. It's not for everyone, I get that. But like, I like it a lot. So from a collecting standpoint, I love these cards. They're cheap. So I was really excited to pick these up. And moving into the third player, we got Jason Tatum. This is actually my first Tatum rookie from Select, 2017 Select. It's a concourse, so it's kind of like the most common rookie of his. But, I mean, my first dabbling into Tatum, I mean, he was really starting to take off before the season got suspended, um, starting to break out. He's in his third year, so, I mean, he's not too, too old yet. He's still young, and I like the upside on Tatum. Honestly, one of my favorite players to look at for investments, at least for my portfolio where it stands right now. Um, these are only about 15, 20 bucks with the prism being like 60 to 70. So I thought it was a steal. I mean, it's nice to have. And plus, I think that these look better than the prism. I don't know. I mean, especially if you guys get these like in hand, you might be able to appreciate it better. I think this select is just from 17 in particular is the concourse design is incredibly good. So, I mean, I could see myself stacking some of these into the future, adding, getting a couple of these select concourse Tatums. Ungraded, they're cheap too. And the last one here is Donovan Mitchell. Bought it from the same seller, bought the Tatum, so I got like a combined shipping discount. So always like to see that. But honestly, this one's mostly just for the PC. 
It's a cool card. I had no Donovan Mitchell. Maybe there's some chance for some upside. I mean, he's not my favorite like investment target. That's why I don't have any, nor am I overly focused on picking up any. But I don't know. I thought it looked really nice. It's a cool looking card. Ten bucks. Um, get a Donovan Mitchell rookie from a premier set, and it looks really good. So, like, I just think it's a nice looking card. I like the picture, and I just love the design. So, I mean, that's the mail that we've gotten in. So I guess the question that I wanted to pose to you guys is like, where do I go from here? So the main question we're talking about, so you can see in the back, like I've got my LeBrons and I've secured some nice LeBrons. So I feel like I've got him. And then the next question, I've got my Lucas too, is should I be looking more at Tatum or Giannis? Um, I think Tatum is definitely has more to prove than Giannis. Giannis has proved a lot. Personally, I've been tempted by the Tatum because you can get in at a cheaper price and the Giannis is a lot more expensive. I'd like to at least get a Prism Rookie PSA 9, which is like 800 bucks. So, I mean, that's a lot. So I guess the question um, beyond that, beyond whether I should be looking at Tatum or Giannis for my next pickups is, is this, is would it be worth selling this Luka Courtside Rookie to help fund the purchase of a Giannis rookie, a Prism, PSA 9 probably. Um, I mean, in the argument in yes in favor, you would say that pretty much Giannis is kind of getting close to the LeBron trajectory where it's incredibly safe and he should see his cards steadily increase in value over time with, I mean, upside from a championship, which he has yet to obtain. And I guess the no argument would be that I shouldn't be moving this one because select is still undervalued and people haven't really caught on to how rare court sides are. Anyways, uh, hopefully you guys can give me some of your input. I'd love to hear because I'm, this is a serious question for me right now, kind of what I'm thinking about as far as my collection and investments go. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. I figured I'd add a little bit extra into this mail day video to spice it up, give it a little bit more um, a little bit more exciting content than just, you know, showing you some cards, giving you some to think about too. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed and I'll catch you next time.